If you take a look at the ceiling of the deli, you will notice that it appears to be rather clean. This is because I've gotten so good at my job. I mean, I get bored very easily. This leads me to cleaning random things. During my escapades of the ceiling cleaning, I noticed the holes in the tiles of the foam liner. Thousands of small pen-sized holes that I assumed were just texture to the panels. Upon further inspection, I saw a single green eye staring back at me. I immediately removed the tile in the corner to discover that above the ceiling was a large 8 foot high crawl space. Well, maybe stand space is a better description. This tile should remain open just in case the eyes return. Now, in case of an eye sighting, please grab the employee standard issue ladder and hoist yourself up there to figure out what has been spying on you, besides the owners that is. To this day, I will occasionally see these eyes staring either from the holes or peering down from the open tile. I have yet to determine what these eyes belong to. However, the shape and composition is nothing like anything that I've ever seen before. In my spare time, I hunt and do pest control outside of work, so I know what animal eyes look like. Furthermore, I occasionally hear footsteps in the ceiling, above the music that plays through the store's speaker system. These footsteps are rather loud, and do not seem to match the weight of the size of the green eyes, yet they seem to coincide. For reference, imagine the way movies make Santa Claus sound while he's walking across the roof. Big heavy thuds that should not be made up there, seeing as how a human cannot stand on the panels without falling through. Addendum 1. I have recently learned why there is an odd shaped unreasonably thick wall separating the cafeteria from the rest of the store. I discovered a small drilled hole in the wall just above head height. I looked inside and felt immediate regret as thousands of green eyes stared back at me. I have since plugged the hole with plastic wrap. I have also hit a gun somewhere in the deli. The owners must never know, but it is imperative to our safety. Under no circumstances should you ever remove the plastic wrap. Ignore their begging and their pleading. Addendum 2. The gun has been stolen. Gunfire can occasionally be heard from the ceiling. Now, I'm not sure just where they keep getting this ammunition from. I mean, I'm too afraid to check up there. No matter how much they beg me, I will not give in.